So let's begin the second case, please, by the of the day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I invite uh, Dr. Anush Kumar uh, from uh, Bansai and uh, Dr. Bhavan Visalya Mumbai, Dr. Mohit Sharma, Dr. Mansi Sharma. Bansal from Matinda, Dr. Tarjan Gupta from Jaipur, Dr. Bhavan from Mumbai, Dr. Mohit Sharma, Delhi, Dr. Manjri Sharma from Delhi. <coughs> Good afternoon, everybody. So, case of uh, carcinoma lung with driver mutation and further. So, history-wise, so 41-year lady came with a chief complaint of dry cough since two months and weight loss of around five to six kg over the same period and breathlessness since a month. Uh, dry cough was gradually progressive in nature throughout the day and there were accurate factors like dust and smoke and there was no any relieving factors. Uh, weight loss. In last two months, noted, uh, she noticed her clothes getting looser. Uh, she complained shortness of breath and hurrying. There was no any history of headache, convulsion, interest, shoulder pain, loss of appetite, uh, paresthesia weakness. There was no any history, personal history of smoking or alcohol addiction. The bowel bladder appetite was normal. And family history is not contributory. Uh, she is an average bit alert oriented cooperative patient lying in supine decubitus. There was no uh, actors, sinusis, clubbing or edema. Respiration 18 per minute, thoraco abdominal tank and drink with the rectal rhythm. Uh, there was lymphodinopathy negative. Pulse was 80 per minute, GVP was not raised. There was no any masking of muscles or flapping tremors or lymphodinopathy stain. Uh, inspection wise, upper respiratory tract was normal, shape of chest is normal. Symmetrical movement of the chest, a pipe impulse is a normal position, 15 to positive space, medial to midclavicular line. There was no any venous prominence, no supraclavicular fossa of fullness or infraclavicular fossa of fullness. Accessory muscles are not being used. There is no uh, gross beads. Skin is normal. No scoliosis or kyphosis, no drooping of shoulders or venous prominence on the uh, front and the back. Uh, no puncture marks. On palpation wise, surface temperature is normal, no red tenderness, uh, trachea position is central, bilaterally chest movement is symmetrical, uh, tactile vocal frame, frame is also bilaterally similar. Percussion and auscultation wise, uh, resonant node in the left side bearing the cardiac wellness. The resonant node in the right supraclavicular, clavicular, and inframamary area. Auscultation bilaterally equal, there is no ease or crackles, vocal frame is symmetrical. Cardiovascular are still no deformity on the precordium, apex between the normal position, no thrill, no murmur. For abdomen also no puncture mark, soft and non-tender, it's tympanic in midline and peristalsis is present. CNS was uh, no evidence of acclidema, no cranial abnormalities, motor function, power, fiber fine, all four limbs, tone is normal. All superficial and deep reflexes are normal. And so 41 year lady came with a chief complaint of having uh, weight loss of around uh, 5 to 6 kgs in the last 2 months with the uh, dry cough since the last 2 months and uh, grade 1 MRC uh, breathlessness. So DD, I could think of uh, tuberculosis and uh, malignant etiology. I could keep these two as a DDs. But also like there is no uh, any expectorations, sputum production, no hemoptysis and all. So, my time, uh, DD of tuberculosis could be lesser and bringing the malignant etiology to the higher position. But, uh, you know, she was dying up in weight loss. Do you think about respiratory issues or do you think about some obesity? Examination is absolutely normal. Yes, it's absolutely normal. So, we entire no orthopnea, no, uh, no pain, DMM, so I could also not keep cardiac, no pedal anyone, so I could not keep cardiac as.
Maybe if you, there is no mischief having a problem. Maybe anything in the bronchus or anything uh, related to like smoking history and all, or uh, having a vital in tumor or mass which is compressing your brachial plexus or anything is getting involved for that tumor. How do you take your smoking history when you label the patient as a chronic smoker? Sir, so you classify them in, in based upon the years of smoking and uh, how, do, how much do they smoke per day or uh, like pack years never smoke when well, are they never smoke or like those are less than 100 in their lifestyle or uh, uh, previously smoker means those have left their smoking uh, more than a year ago and based on that no sir so did you take the history of the past smoking or something Why do you want to take the history of smoking? Does it lead uh, to you, suggest something to you with whether the patient is a smoker or a non-smoker? Why is the smoking history important? Does it guide you towards the management or you know, towards the diagnosis or something? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, smoking habits is associated with particular histologies, malignancies. So it could guide us towards the diagnosis. Uh, like a spinal cell carcinomas and uh, small cell lung cancers are often associated with it or even sir, a passive smoking associated with non malignant etiologies like COPD. So, from the hyperreactive they suspect whether the patient is a non smoker or a non smoker. Does that give you some heat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, the KKAs are more associated with the patients who have smoking history compared to them and also with the histology. Okay. Uh, further, I could proceed with some uh, basics, blood investigations, and uh, for diagnostic purpose, basic like chest x ray. Uh, Liver function test, renal function test, ESR, HbA1c, uh, ECG and 2D echo. So, uh, here's the, her chest x-ray showed a right upper lobe mass of around... In the uh, 2D echo you have mentioned left ventral ejection fraction 60%. Is this only thing that you want to see in the echo? No sir, like other things also, like pericardial effusion is there or not, if renal wall motion or not, are there or not, that can be the left ventral fraction is normal and the patient has RWM or something, so that is more important. So you have to about that also. Okay. If the patient is about to be. Yes. Then her HRCT report is such that... Uh, I'm stopping. Is there any other lab investigation you'll do? She has nine months, right? Yes, yes. Lab investigation, go back, CBC, KFT, LFT, ESR, HB1C, anything else? Like. 
Why HRCT city was done? Why not uh, CECT, Contrast CT? Sir, in the patient came from Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we get some more information with CECT or not? Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between HRCT or CECT? What extra you will get in CECT? Uh, contrast and CT would be better because it would help us evaluate the nodes presence of significant adenopathy in the mediastinum and would help us in the mediastinal staging as well as well as better plan of biopsy effects. So if there is a renal impairment then definitely you will go with the non-contrast. If there is a renal impairment then you will go with non-contrast. But RFT is normally said. So HRCT it should showing a soft tissue density with irregular margin in the right upper lobe and there are diffuse miliary and micronodular densities in both lung fields, suggesting possibility of bronchogenic mass with diffuse metastasis. Uh, FDG PET CT was done, showing a similar finding of soft tissue density region in the with stipulated margins measuring 3.2 into 2.8 cm involving right lung upper lobe showing increased tissue tracer uptake SOE max of 6.7 and multiple small nodules in the bilateral lung fields with few lymph nodes uh, and right supraglycular, right paratracheal, uh, premuscular, AP window, bilateral hilar and subcranial region, largest was 1.3 to 1.2 cm in the right hilar region and minimal right pleural effusion. This is the uh, pictorial presentation uh, confirming the reports.